There it is, the future site of the Springfield Hydroelectric Dam. Just the thought of all that raw, surging power makes me wonder why the hell I should care. Because you'll be supervising the construction crew. Oh, great. Whenever a woman passes by, I suppose it will be my job to lead the hooting. Oh, yeah. Shake it, madam. Capital knockers. So weary. <sighs> This is my friend, Craig. <laughs> friend? You mean you two aren't knocking boots? <laughs> Ever do the backseat mambo, Craigie? <sighs> I know that voice. TV's bottomless chum bucket has claimed Vanessa Redgrave. Now I'm gonna haul ass to Lollapalooza. <laughs> Farewell, dear Nessa. Show. Not a cloud in the sky! Except perhaps a mushroom cloud. <laughs> oh, forget it. I'll admit that the record is a little one sided. But this time, I cannot fail. <laughs> My old arch enemy. I thought I was your arch enemy. I have a life outside of you, Bob. Don't you see what you've done? Sideshow Bob hasn't reformed. He's pure evil. Oh, if only you knew what he was thinking. I hope they still make that shampoo I like. Well, if it isn't my arch nemesis, Bart Simpson. And his sister Lisa, to whom I'm fairly indifferent. So crusty double crossed you, but your basic plan was pure genius. Where do you get your ideas? Oh, please. Let's not embarrass us both with that hoary old stall the villain with flattery scheme. I should have known you were too smart to fall for that. Really? What type of smart? Book smart? Because there are a lot of people who are book smart. Hopeless. Utterly, utterly hopeless. Oh, I see. When it's one of my schemes, you can't foil it fast enough. But when Cecil tries to kill you, it's hopeless. Utterly, utterly hopeless. That's the last condom wrapper. Oh, I renew my objection to this pointless endeavor. Informally now and by affidavit later. Time permitting. Shut your word, Hall. We gotta get this place clean for the air show. Air show? Buzz-cut Alabamians spewing colored smoke from their whiz jets to the strains of rock you like a hurricane? What kind of country-fried rube is still impressed by that? Yeah! 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 All Springfield trembles before the might of Sideshow Bob. Blasted helium. Shoo, 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 ha, ha, that's better. <laughs> Hiya, neighbor! <gasps> hey, wait, wait, wait. What, what you writing there? If you must know, it's an exquisite scheme for revenge. Ah, revenge, eh? Half the guys in here are working on that. <laughs> well, mine's better. There they go. Two criminal geniuses locked away together. Who knows what diabolical schemes they might concoct. I, I'm older. I get the top bunk. Oh, puppycock. I called it at the arraignment. Get... So, when do they bring us the menus? Just a dream. But tonight, I will taste the sweet nectar of vengeance. <laughs> Bug spray. Oh... Well, at least I'll have my revenge. Bob, no! Don't you see? That would be taking the easy way out. I agree.
Best before November 1959. Damn it, Bob. There were plenty of brand new bombs, but you had to go for that retro 50s charm. When that pie hit your face, I saw my dreams explode in a burst of cream and crust. But I suppose I should thank you. After all, it led me to my true calling. Cecil, no civilization in history has ever considered chief hydrological engineer a calling. <clears throat> yes, yes, the Cappadocian's fine. Die, Krusty! Die! Your Honor, my incarceration is cruel and unusual punishment. First, my prison issued shower sandals are grossly undersized. Secondly, the prison book club consists mainly of prisoners who club me with books. These are from the new Tom Clancy, although it's less painful than reading him. Am I right, folks? Motion granted. Release the prisoner. But you can't do this! I saved the children's lives! I'm a hero! Tell them they'll live to regret this. You live to regret this! Oh, thanks a lot. Now I look crazy. Success! They're giving in! Blast! I should have made more demands! Some decent local marmalade for one. Oh, well, next time. I've stolen a nuclear weapon. If you do not rid this city of television within two hours, I will detonate it. Farewell. <laughs> By the way, I'm aware of the irony of appearing on TV in order to decry it, so don't bother pointing that out. It begins. <laughs> I mean my announcing career. That's what's been. Ah, the catwalk. A perfect vantage point for revenge. <laughs> ah, kettle chips. The perfect side dish for revenge.